Historically, we've been known as a research institution, uh, uh, but what enabling environment could be provided where you know entrepreneurship could be flourished at the LSE in uh, perhaps a unicorn coming out of LSE? Okay, well, uh, it's a very good point, and we see it very much in our careers office where. In the past, students at the LSC would say, well, I want to find a job at an investment bank or a consultancy. More and more of our students are saying, I want to set up my own business. And we have created something called LSE Generate to support those students. Uh, we actually were able to raise about £5 million from the government to be able to support that and to support entrepreneurial ventures and commercialization of social science research uh, for students, who have, students and faculty who have ideas that could be turned into businesses. I was just in San Francisco last week and there was a panel of four LSE alumni, all of whom are now entrepreneurs, some of them very, very successful and who have created entrepreneurial businesses uh, and have raised considerable amounts of money. So I wouldn't be surprised if one of them was on their way to becoming a unicorn. Um, I think going forward, we also want to inject entrepreneurial opportunities in the core curriculum. So students are prepared and taught about ways that they could use their skills in entrepreneurial ways. So it's definitely something that's on high on our agenda and high on the agenda of our new strategy. So this is quite a stressful time of the year where students are preparing for exams uh, to pass into the next year and some to the next phase of their life. So I need two pieces of advice. One for exams and the other for people who are looking to go into the next phase of life by applying for jobs, etc. Of course, you've had a very successful career, so if you could give a leaf out of your book. Okay, I will give a leaf out of my book. One is, um, I mean, on exams, I would just encourage people to take a break. I mean, I can still remember uh, when I was doing my MSc exams, uh, I was working so hard. And then I saw there was this exhibition at the Royal Academy that I wanted to see. And, and you know, I went. I just went and I saw it and I took a break for an hour and my a different part of my brain was stimulated and, and then I went back to studying. And just taking a little bit of a break every day so that it's not so intense and you're not so stressed is just something very important. And I'd encourage you to visit LSE Life or uh, visit the LSE Sustainability Team who organize walks around during the day if you want to just take a walk with some people. But just uh, give yourself a break. Uh, and if you're feeling too stressed, go to Student Wellbeing, let them know. There's drop-in times every Monday to Friday at 2.45. If you just want to drop in and talk to somebody about managing your workload, they're there for you. There are also peer supporters in halls of residences for other students who can empathize and relate to what you're going through. In terms of what, when you're thinking about the next stage of life, uh, again, I'd say just take a breath, don't worry, it's going to be fine. Um, remember that the career service will support you after you leave the school. You don't have to have everything nailed down as soon as you leave. Uh, many people find their way later on in life. I always say that climbing your career is not like climbing a ladder, it's like climbing a tree. And sometimes to climb a tree you don't go straight up, you have to take a branch and divert a little bit and get some wider experience and that leads you to new opportunities that you haven't planned unless sort of you were thinking in a linear way. So think of it as climbing a tree, take your time, remember the career service is there to support you for years and years to come. So that's my advice. Great. Thank you. You're welcome. And good luck. Thank you, Fusion. Thank you. <laughs>